Good morning. Welcome to Haven on Earth. Check out my awesome new greenhouse. My mom's husband Bob engineered it and then him and Jason built it. And I think they did a spectacular job. It is 10 feet wide and 32 feet long. And we made it with a wood base and then cattle panels. It's a really warm day here in Oklahoma and it's sunny, so the temperature in the greenhouse right now is about 88, and that's why you see the condensation as well. This greenhouse is gonna allow me to get my seed starts going and to plant in the greenhouse and grow year round. Look at all of that beautiful growing space. So my plan is to cover everything with cardboard and then put my compost on top, which I have ordered and have here. And then in the compost, I'm gonna be growing uh, my greens, lettuces, kale, spinach, and then I'm going to start my brassicas, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, because it's January right now, but those things will do well in this greenhouse. I have the window for ventilation as well as the front door because my seed starts are going to want it a little bit warmer but the brassicas are going to want it cooler so I'll just have to play around with my temperatures. I've been monitoring the thermometer and it's steadily about 10 to 20 degrees warmer inside the greenhouse than outside. Jason and I moved to Oklahoma from Texas back in September. So we've been living in our camper for four months while we wait for our shed to house or tiny house to be built. So it feels so amazing to get projects done that we've wanted to from the very beginning. My view has changed and I'm loving it. So the greenhouse was developed based on the hoop houses that I had before that were made out of metal, but I wanted something more sturdy and durable. And in watching the Stivers Homestead videos, I felt like their design was a great one to start with. So I sent Bob my ideas and some scribbles and he watched the Stivers video and this is what he designed. That's my load. Got my name on it. The wood is from the lumber yard here in town and they deliver for $25 extra. So the first thing that we did was measure out this space and then we did a string line on stakes to make sure everything was level and straight and then we dug out some trenches for the base to sit on. And here we started digging out for the greenhouse. The sides are made out of 2 by 12 by 16s and there's eight of those. And then the back is a 2 by 12 by 10, and the front is a 1 by 6 by 10. The window and the front door are made with 2 by 4s, and then all of the braces are made with 2 by 4s. And he designed the braces to sit 2 inches from the top 
so that the cattle panels would rest on that brace. We also modified the original plan by using 4x4s in every corner to help it be more sturdy and stable. We used 8 16 by 4 foot cattle panels and then we zip tied those together. And he made the braces to sit every 4 feet like the cattle panels, but the cattle panels turned out to be bigger than 4 feet. And so we had some overlap. So we just installed the cattle panels from front to back and when we realized that they were four, over four feet then we just overlapped them right here in the middle. We also used foam pipe insulation on the front and the back. and in the spot where it overlaps, where the cattle panels overlap. And that really helped us in putting the plastic on. Plus it's gonna protect the plastic. We used six mil plastic that I had gotten off of Amazon and we installed it over the wood to help protect the wood because I did not want to go with treated wood for organic gardening. And we attached the plastic with roofing nails and we also ran extra support on the front, back, and over the middle. And like I said, I've had the door and the window closed just to kind of monitor the temperature inside. And you can see condensation and especially between the wood and the plastic. And I asked Bob about that and he said with more ventilation that should be reduced. We also ran the plastic about six, eight inches out from the wood and that is to just help the rain to stay off of the wood and then we're going to make a pretty rock border so again the base was using eight two by twelve by sixteens the corners were four by four by eights 
and then the back was two by 12 by 10, two of those, and the front was a one by six by 10. Then we used 10 two by four by tens for framing the door, the window, and the braces. The plastic was from Amazon six mil, and it was a 25 by 50 foot. And then we used eight cattle panels, which measured 16 feet long and a little bit over four feet. You think we have a door? I absolutely love the greenhouse. I think that it turned out awesome and amazing and perfect. And it's going to give me a huge jump start on the whole growing season. I'm going to be able to get my plant starts going, which I'm hoping to sell at the farmer's market. And I'm hoping to get produce in the ground, which I can also sell at the farmer's market or the food barn. So a big, huge thank you to Bob and to Jason for listening to me and designing and building exactly what I wanted. I'm super grateful. I'm super excited. I have my seed orders placed. They've already been delivered and I've been waiting to open them until I can get them planted. So like I mentioned before, our view has changed and our camper location has changed. So there's more exciting news coming up and we'll be getting started on our seeds and growing for the whole gardening season. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and thank you for watching.